Okay, so uh, I believe that you saw uh, the maps that I threw up, mm -hmm. uh, that I put on the page. And one of them is um, supposed to be about what, it, what it's like to travel in these mountains. And one of them uh, is supposed to be what it might look like um, when you stop, uh, or rather when a community of these creatures who live here um, stops to camp because they don't really have permanent spots. But as you know, uh, nomadic tribes have places that are semi-permanent. You know, they, they return to them all the time. And so that there's the bridge and then there's the other riverside um, picture that mm -hmm. shows uh, what I think it would look like for a place that they returned to year after year at certain times and then i have that picture of the tents um, now there's a human in that picture and there are no humans at the moment in our situation but that sort of gives you an idea of what it looks like when you know 40 or 50 or 100 of these um in these vargars i'm calling them although that has to change um you know camp for a while so um then there's that uh that that big the flat-topped pyramid in the same kind of environment. And that, to me, is a... Um, a it, it would... Versions of this in different sizes are scattered through the mountains. They're basically shrines where you worship, which in this society means where you demonstrate your, you know, your defiance and distaste and resentment of, you know, of, of the deity. Um, I'm going to presume that, uh, you have, um, rejoined this community, um, and that, uh, the two of you, um, have very recently, um, been, uh, you know, come, come to this region. So we're going to be in that kind of camp area and presume that the bridge is a little distance away and presume that this flat top pyramid is somewhere around there as well. Um, you are not very deep into the mountains, but you're well into the area controlled mainly by these Vargar. Um, so uh, does anybody have uh, anything that you had in mind about your, your contact with them? This is home turf for um, Theoxa Ag, and it's completely new territory for 13. So, yes. you know, if either of you care to learn, talk, interact. So the first thing I realize when I see this community is that the Vargar I met probably somewhere in the outskirts of the Imperial right. home city is quite special in her ways. Correct. Yeah. Compared with everybody else. Right. And that's true. And that um, in their you know, home turf, in their home territory, um, the, the Vargar have you know, their, their tribal ways. They have their tents, they have their movements, they have their temples, they have their behaviors, but they don't act like humans. The way they casually move around, the way that they conduct their business day to day is much more like large four-footed carnivores. Think about how lions act all day long. Okay, so back to what I was asking before. Uh, before I launch into who says what and who does what, um, is there anything that either of you has in mind to attempt? imagine yourselves to be in that encampment area so i if we're just coming back from a journey uh i would probably want to head to the temple where i have my religious contacts and you know maybe see if there's meat uh available something fresh oh yes things seem to have been rather good in the hunting department we're a civilized people. We cook our meat when we get the chance or feel like it. And so in this case, there are plenty of 
Oh, well, there's at least one nice grilling spit set up, visible, with tasty flesh. By the time that you uh, get to the pyramidal temple area, um, quite a bit of, um, you know, you've, you've, how am I going to put it? 13 has had a chance to, to look at the community and look at the geography of the area and have some idea of where things are. So let's just establish that. We've, we've had our sort of tracking shot through the, you know, through the encampment, little location glances, just like I showed you in the picture. So you have, you know, some idea. Um, that bridge that you crossed to get here um, is is defensible, for example. All right. Now, um, when you get near to the pyramid, you can see that a Vagar is uh, running down the steps um, with all four limbs and is not... Uh, listening, you know, to others who are calling out to her, as you can see as she approaches. Um, and uh, as she comes pounding up, uh, you will see that she is a well, 13. You can see that she is uh, striking in appearance and very um, uh, ceremonially uh, has ornaments and, and sort of a, a neck piece, you know, that it is ornate, so it looks more ceremonial than a lot of the Vargar, um, with, you know, uh, braids and, and little studs and things in her hair. Now, all of the Vargar have a little bit of ornamentation and personality, and they have sort of semi-clothes. You know, they don't, they're not like human clothes at all, but they, they have, you know, bracelets or things like that. Um, but, uh, but this one is, a, you know, clearly a cut above the others in her wealth. I'll just go ahead and say it. So, um, and what she does, of course, this is Ogox, as the Oxa Ag is, is well aware, uh, who, uh, hurls herself upon, uh, the Oxa Ag and what, I suppose an outsider might be a little alarmed at, you know, 450 pounds, you know, 200 kilos of, of, of large carnivore, you know, suddenly leaping the last 10 feet upon your companion, um, except that it is, uh, it is, it is with joy and with, uh, an excitement. So the, the two of them, you know, so basically she's, run up to you while others are all calling or, you know, shouting in some way. There seems to be some activity at the pyramid, for example. Um, and, uh, and Theoxa, you know, is basically embracing, sorry, Ogox is basically embracing Theoxa and then saying, you're alive, you're alive. I most certainly have to taken a couple of steps back not to get overrun. <laughs> And I've observed this display of excitement nope. with slight puzzlement, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. I'm like, um, okay, I guess. Yes, I'll, I'll introduce you to the priestess, my benefactor, who is clearly... There seems to be some other element to this relationship. So... Uh, so, you know, she, we, we roll and, uh, and, and do the, do the thing cats do. Um, there's dust rising from us, much of it mine. And I say, you know, I'm, I'm alive, but, um, you know, let, let me take a bath first. <laughs> uh, did you, you know, did you ever doubt I'd come back? Um, and she basically says, oh, you're going to need a bath. All right. And we'll, you know, take you um, swiftly to her her domicile, her, her place of residence. Um, 
So basically leaving 13 behind unless you want to say, oh, by the way, I have this robot. Um, sorry, 13, I'll, you know, shout over my shoulder, you know, d just introduce yourself, you know, the, <laughs> the cats here are lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so off you go. Um, and so 13, um, you will, uh, be gazing about, um, and, proceeding also down the temple steps and with other Vargar who seem concerned or, you know, if not upset, at least disturbed in some way, this other Vargar basically raises up his forepaw, you know, gestures to the others, calming, calming. It's all right. It's all right. Um, and um, the... You know, they're, they're saying something to him using a strange Vargar word. And he says, don't worry about it. It has returned to us. That's all that matters. And so then, you know, puts his hands down and walks up on four feet to you. Um, he also is, is ornamented and, um, and, and looks perhaps, I mean, you don't, I'm not really sure if you know, but uh, I mean, your character's not naive. We know that. So it's, I'm going to say that the person that is also in uh, uh, sort of a more high status ornamentation, but it's much plainer, much less uh, ceremonial looking than, uh, than, than Argox. So, um, this was person, um, you know, while the, the others, there, now there are now about a 12 Vargar around, which is, means you're outnumbered and, you know, outweighed and, uh, you know, alone. <laughs> but they, uh, but they, they, and they, they're kind of doing the thing where they're, you know, some of them go down lower on the ground, you know, toward the ground more of a creeping oh, kind of, oh, love it. Right? And, uh, and others kind of have sat back a little bit. Um, and the, uh, but this one comes walking straight up to you and, and says, welcome, welcome companion to our returned member, our returned friend. Um, and then, and, and shoots a glances around at all the other Vargar. And then looks down at you and says, be welcome here. He squints a little and says, do you require sustenance? Um, I gather that I probably have picked up enough from Teoxa to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. But that there is some kind of common language I can use. I think that that's not a problem. It. This Vargar is speaking a language that you can understand. Um, yeah, I probably, would like to check, yeah. to, to, to thank him in their language. And because I gather that's about what you learn mm -hmm. from a traveling companion, like, mm -hmm. thank you and okay. you're welcome and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'm going to say, no, I do not require anything. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to use any uh, specialty you want or your basic charm um, to basically make an impression upon this group. So um, the base oh, will just be to use well. charm, but there are others that are available if you want. Because charm is so great. <laughs> <laughs> me. No, I mean to impress him, charm is probably the only thing that okay. may work. To let you know, because this is more about the this is more about the group. That would be too, right. Yeah, I, I mean, for the group, I probably would try alertness if they move to. Oh, I see what a, you mean. No. Uh, I mean, we are still talking, how, we're talking if they about are the behaving. Okay, that's charm. Yeah, I'll just go for it. Uh -huh. Oh, great. Um, 
<laughs> feeble. Feeble. Well then. Okay, so, um, goodness. All right. Well, there is, of course, muttering um, as they, they slink about. Um, but the, um, but the fellow that you're talking to doesn't show any dislike or disrespect for you at all. Um, and, um, informs you, uh, that his name is Shkazak. And Shkazak, uh, says that he is, uh, merely... Uh, merely a, a member of the community and is careful to say nobody's special and that I am you know happy to welcome you here and to you know to learn about your travels um, and it you won't even need an alertness rule you knew you were pretty feeble at your impression on the others um, you know anything you tried to say clearly, did not have the, the response that you would prefer. So this one's the only one who seems to be, you know, being nice. So, um, in fact, Shkazak says, maybe I should accompany you as you, as, as people here adjust to an unexpected visitor. Um, and so uh, he'll go up and, uh, and, and grab... You know, he'll, he'll sniff the air and go, ooh, that smells good. And go over to one of these places where there's food cooking on a spit or a grill and, uh, and select a, you know, a good long haunch of meat and start eating it. And um, make an alertness roll. That one is great. Well, then. Not only do you know that it's human flesh, but you also know what piece it is. It's a it's a, a nice upper arm. Um, so uh, so yes, the the you have. I presume that through your travels, the Oxa Ag has been polite and not treated other humans or treated humans as prey, but uh, but apparently up here in the hills, that's not the case. So. Um, Vargar have a well-earned reputation. They will eat humans and other Vargar in the context of a tribal dispute. I mean, uh, the, but not, you know, like rival tribes or something. Um, killed foes are eligible. Um, and it's not considered wrong. Um, whereas, uh, and of course, humans find all of this behavior quite repellent. Um, the Vargar are like, what? So, um, so, okay. The, uh, so Shkazak, you know, is, is basically welcoming you around. Um, and, uh, and, you know, specific to, he asks no leading, no, no nosy questions at all. Um, tell me if there's something you want to do, ask, check out, involve yourself in, or anything of the kind, um, before I go over and, uh, courteously check in with our other characters in action. Go ahead. I, I just okay. think I'll keep close to him and observe as much as I can. Okay. So that actually tells me exactly what I need. 